Ms. Robeson, uh, do you have any closing remarks? Nothing further, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Hillard, since you've determined to act as your own attorney, you are entitled to make a closing statement at this time. Your Honor, in the past two months, I have secured a residence, I've refurbished that residence and made it an environment fit for children. Those are your words. I'm also holding down a job as a shipping clerk. So I, I believe I met your requirements ahead of schedule. In regards to my behavior, I can only plead insanity. Because ever since my children were born, the moment I looked at them, I was crazy about them. Once I held them, I was hooked. I'm addicted to my children, sir. I love them with all my heart. And the idea of someone telling me I can't be with them, I can't see them every day, well, it's like someone saying I, I can't have air. I can't live without air and I, I can't live without them. Listen, I would do anything. I just wanted to be with them. You know, I need that, sir. We have a history. And they just, they mean everything to me and they need me as much as I need them. So please, don't take my kids away from me. Mr. Hillard, you've been able to fool a lot of people into believing that you're a 60-year-old woman. No easy task. And your little speech seemed to be very heartfelt and genuine. But I believe it to be a terrific performance by a very gifted actor, nothing more. No, it's not that. The reality, Mr. Hillard, is that your lifestyle over the past months has been very unorthodox. And I refuse to further subject three innocent children to your peculiar and potentially harmful behavior. It is this court's decision to award full custody to Mrs. Hillary. Oh, God, no, sir, please. You will have supervised visitation rights every Saturday. Supervised, sir? Yes. A court liaison will accompany you when you spend time with the children. I am suggesting a period of psychological testing and perhaps treatment for you, Mr. Hillard. We will re-examine this case one year from now. Thank you. Court is adjourned. <laughs>